Hello, all of my sleepy bears. My name's Chronically Blue, and welcome to another Game Grab. Today, we are looking at a bunch of PS2 games that I got from a random grab box, and uh, most of them are from a random grab box. Some of them I got from a game store, you know, as the use. So, we're going to look at a Naruto game, a D&D game, a Transformers game, and a Call of Duty game. Very unique. We, we, we like to diversify. So, the first one we're looking at is the Naruto game. And with the game grab, as you know, we just go ahead and we do a quick little, like, Yeah! Go! Do the thing! This quick little battle. A quick little battle or anything like that. As you can see, I've put quite a bit of time in here. i put in uh, 2 hours and 16 minutes just in my own little uh, free time with the mission mode and everything else. Please now, we're going to go for a free battle. Now, this is a... Select a I'd go a ahead and say it's a 2D fighter. Select the character you uh, you, use. There's uh, two to three different planes normally per level, where you can switch between uh, middle, Select far back, or up close. Set 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 a and the battle how it works is, with each character, they have oh, one of three different so like jutsus that the they can do. You spam the triangle button. Uh, the first one, you land a hit. That's level one jutsu. Hit the triangle two times. Do a hit. Level two jutsu. Hit the triangle button three times. Do a hit. Level three jutsu. There's also a bunch of secret techniques that I did not know about. But I accidentally trigger anyway. <laughs> oh yeah, so as you can see at the top, the health bars are quite unique. It's going to take just a lot of punches in order to get that all the way down to the bottom. But luckily, we do have quite a few jutsus in order to assist with that. Uh, there, are li there are little chakra balls that we can go ahead and use in order to uh, rebuild our chakra. And when someone does trigger a jutsu attacking you, uh, a number of symbols will come down on your side of the screen. And if you press them all correctly, it will do reduced damage if you are the defender. If you're the attacker, it will continue the jutsu to keep going until it reaches its final blow, which is normally two or three times in. Yeah, so even if you get hit, you can still reduce the damage. If you don't reduce the damage, you're, you're, your health bar is non-existent. I'm going to go ahead and say that. Uh, there is the option to stage shift. That does happen sometimes. If you if you start it, then you will regain some health. This is me trying to pull off some jutsus, and it's just not working. But here is the secret jutsu that we're using here. And that's about it. So, <laughs> I'm a lot better at this game than it looks, I promise. But I'm also not going to do a Let's Play this game anytime soon. I, I have enough difficulty with the games I plan on Let's Playing. If you walk on the water, that does take up your chakra. But if you hold the down button, after a few seconds, you will be able to start building up the chakra that you missed. For certain characters, if you hold the up button, it will allow you to regain some of the health by 10 points each for each taunt that you do. So yes, it is quite a bit. There's a lot of stuff going on here. It is not beginner friendly. I can tell you that right now. Uh, this is one of the games where I'm like, let me look at the manual. I'm not sure if I'm doing this right. And you know, if I'm having difficulty following it, that's saying something. Luckily, this today, this game did come with the manual, so I was able to follow it. But now all of you know my tips in order to help assist it as well. One thing that you can do is there is the block button, which is the R1, I want to say. And allegedly, if you press it right before your opponent hits you, you turn into a block of wood. I've never gone this successfully to work, but I know a friend that's gotten it to work at so many times. I can't even tell you how many times. I tried pressing it. I've tried holding it. Nothing works. So I'm, I'm, I just ignore it entirely. Uh, there are different items that you can pick up from your senseis and that are helping you. If it's hands, then they're going to do a move that'll help inflict damage on the opponent. There's different weapons. There's a concrete block that would cause the opponent to move slower. There's super ninja tools. There's a whole lot. This is one of the games where I've, because I've researched it, I know a lot. <laughs> Even though I've never, well, I wouldn't say I've never watched Naruto. I had a bit of a phase where I actually watched it on Disney XD a little bit, as well as on Cartoon Network, and it was hard to follow, mostly because I never, I, you, when you're a kid, you don't watch anime in order, it, it just kind of happens. You, you, I wasn't allowed to have the internet back then, so I was like, 
Whoa, look! It's the entire season of this thing! There's probably like five or six episodes, and you find out there's 103, and you're like, what? That's a lot of time I gotta dedicate to this now. You just saying. That was a cool little move that we were able to do there. Uh, one thing that I did want to bring up is how... Uh, this is completely off the topic of Naruto. I was washing dishes, go figure, and I I picked up my sponge, my, my scrub daddy. The, the, the scrub wand, I should say. I started to wash a pot, and little black spots started forming on the pot. I'm like, what is going on here? So I kept scrubbing more black spots. I then looked at the scrub daddy wand, and I saw there were ants in the sponge. And this is not me critiquing the scrub daddy wand itself. I've used it quite a lot. It's really good. There is no mold. There's no mold on it. There might have been bits of food on it. We do have a slight ant problem, but luckily it's nothing major. So they just crawled into the sponge while I wasn't looking for roughly 24 hours and just decided, you know what? This would be a great time to live here. So I promptly removed that part, threw it away, kept the wand because it's still full of dish soap, grabbed a regular boring sponge and started washing the dishes that way. Yes, including the pot that I just washed because no one, very, a lot of people don't like insects. And if if I had like a $5,000 meal and a spider walked on it, I would immediately be like, you know what? I'm good. I don't think I'm hungry anymore. I think I'm, a, I'm, I'm stuffed with this air. <sighs> Yeah, so what I'm doing right here is I'm just taking my sweet time switching out the game and then hitting the power button so we can go ahead and do a quick little restart on the PS2 so we can go ahead and get the next game going. And this one is going to be Transformers, the video game. I always love that startup. It's, it's just, everyone loves that startup. Those, those little blocks are the saved memory data that you have in your memory card. Neat little tidbit. It's a tidbit nipply. Ah, such a great sound. I love that sound. <laughs> uh, so now we are playing Transformers the game this is one of those games that I have not touched whatsoever and I've never even played a Transformers game so I was I did not have high hopes to say the least I did not have high expectations I'm just like sure here we go let's check this out and so this is kind of a I wouldn't say a beat em up or even a hack and slash it's um you just go around and destroy stuff. At least that's what you do in the first level. And that's as far as I got before. I'm like, okay, I, th I think I'm done. I, th I think I'm all right. Yes, yeah, so there's a little introduction that no one cares about. And uh, this is with the brightness turned up, mind you. I don't know what it is with PS2 games specifically. But they're really good at making things look dark. And so, I, I, again, I have increased the brightness just a little bit so that way it's not like overwhelmingly bright so that the black isn't like gray. But it's still a really dark game. Not dark, as, well, you know what I'm talking about. I just talked about brightness. So yes, you can do the campaign, and you get to choose from the Autobots or the Decepticons. Me being, you know, a little evil boy in my hood, I chose the Decepticons. I just, I just like the evil stuff. Look at all those controls. Sweet moly. That's a lot of controls. Then again, we are controlling a gigantic robot that can transform into a vehicle. So, I kind of expect it, but also, they just slap it right in your face. It's like, BAM! Look at all these controls. That's so many controls. Yeah, 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 I don't care. So we're in the Sokent military base. Uh, we originally started as a helicopter, which... It's time to present yourself to the human's military base, Blackout. Show them a proper deception uh -huh. welcome. It is hard to control the helicopter. I'm not going to lie about that. It... 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 It's hard to describe it. It's like if you had a potato that is solid phobic that you're trying to drive on a racetrack. It's just very hard. Also, again, this is with the brightness turned up. This is how dark the game is. So it's 
I promise it's not my cat. Well, it might be my cat car a little bit. I'm, I'm editing the brightness in post, not uh, when I was recording it. But I have gone ahead and made the uh, correction to the settings. See, that's great. I can actually see what's going on here. Whereas I cannot see what's going on at any point of the game. <laughs> I have gone ahead and made the slight brightness adjustment to my game capture, so that way from here on out, it shouldn't be difficult in order to see what's going on. I'd rather have the game be too bright and uh, while I'm recording it than be too dark in post. Because if it's in post and it's really dark, I can't fix it. I, I can do so much, but there's only so much you can do. So what we're doing here is very similar to Blast Core, if you've ever played that on the N64, where you're just demolishing a bunch of buildings to rack up the percentage, and once you get 100%, the level's over. There is a time limit, but you won't even come close to reaching that, so don't you worry. There's not a lot we can do, we can just spam some of the weapons and spam some of the attack buttons, but you don't get to link combos together, or if you do, I wasn't able to get that far. But not a whole lot's going on, he's destroying a bunch of random buildings for no good reason. Again, it probably shows it in the cutscene, but I didn't really care. Uh, this doesn't really, it just doesn't really seem like a Transformers game. Like, if you look at this, if you show this to a Transformers fan, they'd probably be like, what? Like, say what you will about the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle games. All of them are beat-em-ups, and it makes sense. Because the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles are famous for beating up all the bad guys, and Shredder, and all the other things. So, it makes sense. It, it definitely makes sense. For this, not really. I, I know the Autobots and the Decepticons fight each other. That's about it. I just know that more than meets the eye. Again, that's also it. That's as much as I know about Transformers. We're doing great with the research here. But I don't think that they would actually destroy humans. At least I don't think so. They might. I don't know. All right, so now it's time for our next game. Oh, that's so nice. I hope you like that because I'm going to show it every single time I can. This is just so great. Uh, we have a game that is going to let you down. And it is Call of Duty World at War Finest Hour. If you are anything like me, you first started playing Call of Duty on the Xbox 360, and you liked it for maybe like five minutes, and then your younger brother kicked you off it and said, go back to the bedroom, and lived on Call of Duty Lobby. So you got to enjoy all the different slurs and language that your younger brother was using. <laughs> um... With the PS2 version, as well as with the GameCube, Wii, that's as much as I can think back on. I want to say Xbox as well, just regular generic Xbox. We don't have any of that. We don't have the online lobbies. We just have, hey, do the campaign. And if you've ever played a Call of Duty game, you know, hey, do the campaign is a sentence that no one ever says. If it was Halo, that makes sense. The game was literally built to have a campaign, and it, it, it's good. It's... it's it, I like Halo. I've never been in a Halo game, but I like it. I've played it quite a bit. Yes, we are... Oh, Final... Sorry. Final Fronts, not Final Hour. Again, just like with every single game that I ever mess with, I go ahead and modify all the settings and such. Just because this is just what I do. It's what I like to do. It's my thing. Uh, you can modify the stuff, but you gotta remember that this is the time where uh, games were really just kind of 4x3. We didn't get to the... 16 by 9 until I want to say the like roughly the Wii, PS3, Xbox 360, and then on. Everything else was just kind of meant for CRTs. So that means that if you got like a $2,000 gigantic TV that weighs 300 pounds, that's widescreen, uh, you're going to plug in your NES to and you're going to see the black bars on the side and be like, what the heck? That's not what I wanted. This isn't my Call of Duty. Yeah. Hey, Mac, what's the scuttlebutt on the new honcho? I hear the bastard's tough as nails. Great. Another AJ, AJ squared away. AJ squared away. Stone, here he comes. Here are the new recruits, Sergeant Roebuck. Turn hunt! Okay, let's see what we've got. Sound off. Turn AJ squared away. I'm so hung up on that. Landscape. Aye, sir! Miller. Where is your weapon, Marine? Get over to that table and pick up a rifle, Miller. See, this is not accurate to uh, military because they'd be a lot more cursing and a lot more 
uh, slurs being used at this point. So yes, it is... Miller, get over here and shoot uh, the best way I can describe the controls of this game is kind of like... Okay, Miller, shoot the helmet using the head. wrong side of a popsicle in order to control it. It's, it's like slippery, but also stiff at the exact same time. It's very hard to describe. It, it, it's, it's just very unique, and there might be multiplayer to this that I skipped over in the beginning scene. It's quite possible, but this is just one of those... It, it's very clear that they're like, hey, you want to play Call of Duty with your friends? Yeah. You want to play online? Yeah. Too bad. You get this. I'm like, awesome. Just what I wanted. Oh, wow. I'm hoping that's just the preview and not the actual video that shabby, is... Miller. Oh, we sweet goodness. Yeah, I'm really hoping that's the preview okay, and not the actual video, because I just saw, like, a few lines the where the game board. lagged. And the fact that the PS2 is lagging on a PS2 game... I mean, the... Sometimes, we don't have enough water in a day, and it makes our brain stop working. If a Call of Duty game is lagging on the PS2, that is very unique. I can't say that when I was playing this game, this this happened a little bit, but it wasn't as noticeable as it is right now. But it goes to show that you, you really shouldn't play any graphically intense <laughs> PS2 game. Especially not any first person. I can't even think of any first person shooters on the PS2. There's a lot of third person ones like Ratchet and Clank, Sly Cooper. Well, Sly Cooper's not really a third person shooter. Jack and Daxter, but I've also haven't played Jack and Daxter. I played it for like maybe an hour and then just stopped. <laughs> I'm really good at playing games for a bit and then stopping. That's It's like I made a whole thing about it. So yeah, a marine just throws us into the. We thought we were gonna win yeah. the war all by ourselves. You didn't say. We were wrong. So yeah, it it just that's the intro, and I want suppressing fire on that hill. Someone get Miller out of that mud. Come on, buddy, we got you covered. Wow, that is dark. Anderson, I want some flame on that bunker. Get up that hill and get on it. Anyway, you go with it. We've got no cover. Use a smoke grenade. Olansky, get the fuck up there. Anderson, Miller. Yeah, so... Now we're just kind of here. And the reason why the sound went out is because I uh, ejected the disc. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm already done with this. I think I've had enough. I think I'm just going to go and switch over to the next game now. Because, uh... Yeah, I, I think I think I've had enough about that game. Now we do have the final game, which is Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance for the PS2 as well as the Xbox. I have the first game on the PS2. I have the second game on the Xbox, which is very unique. <laughs> but you know, it's one way to link the connections together, the collections. I mean, now. This game was not chronically blue approved. <laughs> Just saying that right now. Uh, when I say that, I mean that if you skip all the cutscenes, you have no idea what to do. If you skip all the dialogue, you have no idea what to do. So if you want to know what to do, focus on it. <laughs> uh, you get to choose from one of three characters. This game is multiplayer, but it is one of those, like, both players have to be on the screen at the exact same time. So if you go off one way, then the other players just kind of be stuck running the other way. But, oh yeah, that actually looks a lot better. Wow. Yeah, we're going to turn out all the stuff on. The dialogue text, the subtitles. What is the difference between dialogue text and subtitles? I, I don't even know. But So we have the human archer, the dwarven fighter, and the elven sorceress. We're going to go and choose the elven sorceress because women are awesome. I love this loading screen. It just looks so beautiful. I love the flames. It like ugh, it's so awesome. It really sets the tone for the game. You are weary from your travels. 
but mesmerized at the sight of Baldur's Gate. Not only a town of myth and legend, but also a place where one can find fame and fortune round every corner. It is night as you enter the city, and it seems strangely deserted. But you soon discover that the night holds danger as well. And in an instant, that danger is upon you. Who are we, Conquer? Going down with one hit like that? Easy pickings, hey, eh, Karn? Indeed. Let's see what our little ambush has won us. Halt! Who goes there? It's the watch. Let's get out of here. Yes, but take the gold. Leave the rest for the watch. Damnable thieves. They grow bolder with each passing day. Still some life in this one. <laughs> Looks like all they did was make off with some possessions. Easy, easy there. That's quite a blow you took. Those thieves that attacked made off with your possessions, but at least you're alive. They're becoming more bold with each passing day. You'd best stay off the streets after the sun sets. It's not safe out here. You can seek shelter in the Elf Song Tavern. It's close enough. Aye, more than enough. Yeah, I, I got tired of listening to it, so we just go ahead and skip ahead. And uh, this is actually a D&D &D game. And so, if you didn't know that, then you know now. Um, so there's lots of dialogue, lots of dialogue options that could impact you. Yeah, there's just a lot. <laughs> so, after 20 minutes of me not knowing what to do, uh, there's a little... Wow, this is really dark, actually. Uh, there's a little bit of a thing over here that we can go to, and then there's a little sewer that we can go down, and we are supposed to kill some rats. Uh, are we going to be good at that? I don't know. Probably not. I still love the sliding screen. It looks so cool. All right, so yes, we're going to go down, and we're going to kill some rats. We don't have a lot on us. We can use the special fire breath, as well as a, a little whacker. And it does show us how to, uh, that we get a healing potion, and in anyway, to save the game. There's also a mana potion as well that we're going to get. So th this is just more of the glorified tutorial. But I remember watching my dad play this game a lot. He was really into it, and I never understood it. And when I say never understood it, I don't mean I never understood why he liked this game. I just mean I never understood what was going on in the game. It just looked so cool when he was playing. And now I'm playing D&D with my dad. Look at that. Funny how things happen. Uh, so there's a little water thing there. Uh, there's a little bit of gold that we just picked up there. But as you can tell, it is... It, I, I, can, I can almost see my reflection and just how dark this game is. And again, I know I've said this three times before, I have increased the brightness. So I'm... Like, it... Just, just imagine how much more dark it would be if I did not increase the brightness. <laughs> but, yeah, I, I'm definitely not gonna do a Let's Play of this game. I'm not good at it. It takes a lot of patience as well as it's really dark. Yeah, there's the fire that will light up the room, which definitely helps. And also do a lot of damage to enemies as well, so that'll help. Yeah, look right there. And if you run out of mana, then you won't be able to use the fire breath, which stinks uh, there is a map button where you can change it to be right on top of you and the corner or non-existent and you're going to need the map just because it will help you figure out where you are going i do like that it gives you different size options though so you can either have it right on top of you like in dark cloud it can be in the corner like 90 percent of the ps2 library or it cannot be there like 90 percent of the n64 games <laughs> Anyway, so we are just getting whooped by these rats. There's ten rats that remain. Every single time that we open a door, the rats are alerted, so they come and chase after us, and 
We're just trying to do what we can in order to heal and get mana so that we can use the fire breath to destroy more rats. If you do kill all the rats, that completes the quest. You'll get a reward, uh, maybe even a weapon or armor. You know, D&D &D stuff. <laughs> I just kind of wish that you'd have to, like, roll to see what would happen. But then the game would take a lot longer. So I, I think they made a the ex executive decision here. Just have it be a uh, roguelike beat-em-up. But yes, with that, we have gone ahead and died. This game has ended, as well as this game grab video. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. See you next time, sleepy bears.